Okay, welcome back. It is uh, 8 14 of 2015. We're going to take a look at the uh, Cambridge Companion to Brentano, published in 2004. And we're going to look at uh, Rolf George's essay, Brentano's Relationship to Aristotle, on pages uh, 20 to 45. We begin with sensation, where um, being is initially presented to us as accidental being, or as two attributes meeting in a substance. In our quest is to apprehend true being and to move from potentiality to actuality in acquiring the notion of the true. Therefore, substance is our focal point and substance encloses quality and relation. And uh, remember, Brentano is 100% in alignment with Aristotle at all times. Now from there we move into the moment of the uh, intuition of concreto and our intuition grasps the sensed object of presentation, and this difference differs from physical presentation. It is instead the objective presentation, and also at this level, saturation begins as a process where an ensouled body of intuitions begins to emerge. So those uh, concreto intuitions through saturation begin to be viewed as a relational and ensouled, as an ensouled body of intuitions. So there's a first emergence of things in their interrelated space, and their interrelated uh, relationship to each other. From there we move on to the true unitary intuition of uh, forming a generalization, and uh, Aristotle used the concept of logos and hylos, which means embodied thinking. That emerges here. It's just prior to the Tecunta threshold. The intelligible aspect of the intuited things emerges in order to raise a thing to a topoid in its proper place, in its interrelated place. Intellect emerges as active and receptive. On the receptive side, it's uh, through intuition and saturation that generalization images are received. On the active side, the active intellect illuminates saturation in order to raise the saturation to generalization. So we end up with the topoid generalizations in their interrelated place as a result of this uh, third moment. Now we move on to the all-important Takunta threshold. And uh, Aristotle used the concept of n Par ergo, which means self-awareness, or if we look at the Greek par erkamai, it means to pass by and then disappear. And this is where intentionality evolves in our quest for the notion of the true. The secondary object equals Aristotle's object par eg ergo. The object par ergo is the secondary object for Brentano. We acquire the mental secondary object of judgment, and topoid generalization must be raised to signification as in existing in the mind. And it's the secondary objects that can acquire certainty for Brentano. The mind must transition from potentiality to actuality in acquiring the true signs or the true signification of each topoid. Now, all notions of the true are linked by an indivisibility called the temporal continuum. So each topoid is marked by this mark of indivisibility, or um, this relevant mark. And our methodology is a analogy, or intellectual analog, of a compound premise, uh, making our judgments into simple thoughts. And it simply means that two premises are joined together within a single eschatological moment. And from there, from the Dakunta threshold, we want to move on to um, actually forming that notion of the true in block five. And uh, we learn from uh, George concerning Brentano that it's here where we reference universality when forming the signs into a sign model. We consider matter, form, moving principle, and prime mover. Our sign model is enclosed within a prime mover knowing himself. God knows all, th all things by knowing himself. 
And this is the realm, this is the, the, the moment of noetic knowledge, or conceptual thought as a product of finite sensation plus mental activity. And if we look at the Greek term noema, it means thought as design. So essentially we're taking the signs in the fourth moment of the Tecunta threshold and we're lifting them to becoming noema, or signs organized into a design model, a noetic model, noetic knowledge. So basically we had the uh, moment of uh, combining the sensate and the mental, and the sensate was presented to us as generalization in the third moment, and then we a lifted topoids to signs in the fourth moment, and now we're lifting the signs to noema in the fifth moment. So we are combining that finite sensation and that mental activity and lifting it all to a um, sign model or noetic knowledge. We're lifting a finite sensation of generalization and mental activity as signification to reach noetic knowledge of sign model of thought as design. And all of this uh, is 100% in alignment with Brentano. Brentano was perfectly aligned with Aristotle's thought. He agreed with it completely. And so basically, anytime we discuss Aristotle, we are discussing Brentano's appropriation of it. And this is the way that Rolf George sees it in 2004. So he does uh, present that uh, evolution of the lexical content from the sensate intuited things being lifted to the topoids of generalization, then moving on to the signification of true sign, and then from true sign moving on to becoming a noema to form a structured sign model. So we move from for George, he says that Brentano moves from thing to topoid to sign to noema. Thing to topoid to sign to noema. So there's a four-step process there, according to Rolf George. But it gives us a good look at uh, how things progress, and it does agree with, with what we've looked at earlier when considering the uh, primary work of uh, Brentano. But basically it does move through that first uh, stage of just the concreto intuitions. But then you can get, even in the realm of the sensate, you can get some work of the abstracto, you can reach a generalization. You can reach a topoid in its true interrelated place. And then from there you do enter into the Tecunta threshold and for Aristotle that's dialogue. You're dialoguing with others in order to find that relevant mark of the indivisibility of the temporal continuum. And once you introduce temporal continuum you're introducing the ability to perceive eschatological trajectory and the true significance of a topoid. And then you can give it a sign name, which is its notion of the true, its conceptual notion of the true. But then you want to link that into a model. You want to move um, the signs, which become a lexical, a lexical network of signs, to an actual model that you can posit in the actual world. And so you have to move to the fifth moment of forming a noetic model or uh, which is uh, basically from the Greek noema of thought as design, thought as posited design. So signs get elevated to noema. So it's a great little presentation, fairly brief, only 25 pages, but it gives us a great way to view the alignment between Brentano and Aristotle. And that's from uh, the Cambridge Companion to Brentano from 2004.